So I would like to introduce you to my tea kettle. This is a freshly boiled pot of water and that's all you need. Grab it and you're gonna pour the boiling water right into the core of the plant and just pour in enough there that you have really good and cooked the core root system. You do not have to spend your Saturdays anymore with whatever tool you use, digging out the roots, worrying that, oh, you know, if I don't get the roots, it's gonna come back. No, if you actually boil the core of the plant, these things are dead, <laughs> they are good and dead. And so what I'm gonna do is I've boiled these core ones here. Um, I am going to wait a day or two so that I can come back out and show you the results. And so this is day one, application of boiling water to yard weeds. We'll be back. While we're at it, I also want to show you that you can use boiling water for dealing with weeds that are in your patio stones. So again, same thing, we're just going to boil the center part of the plant, really aiming for the central part of the root system. And then we're going to go deal with some of the ones that are in the driveway. And I will look forward to showing you what this looks like a day or two from now. There we go. Just for fun, I'll show you what the weeds look like already. This is just a few hours later. It's the evening of the same day. And you can see in the center there how much that is browned and wilted. And so these weeds are toast. I'll show you what they look like in two or three days, but that's a pretty crazy difference for just a few hours. This is two days after pouring the boiling water on the root system. You can see the core of the plant is dead. The long stalks are all leaning over. When we run over this with the lawnmower, it's just gonna return back to the ground. So that's another thing about pulling out weeds or killing them. If you pull them out, then you don't get all of the minerals and nutrients that are in them. You end up sending them off to the compost or yard waste. And if you poison the plant, well, you still don't wanna return that to your grass because you're just leaving more poison there. So. Boiling water, fantastic chemical free way of killing weeds and returning the nutrients in the plant back to your lawn and fertilizing it that way. So this is what the patio weeds look like after two days. As you can see, that's dead. Um, it was raining and so I kept things a little bit wetter, but if it had been dry days, um, this would already be flaked up and gone. So I don't have to pull anything out. I really work very hard at all. When it's super dry like this, it just flakes off and disappears. And this is what the driveway weeds look like. They may not be all dead, but you can see they're well on their way. And same thing, they're going to dry up enough that they'll just flake away on their own. I don't even have to work hard to pull them up.